the diabetes prevention program, the Finnish diabetes prevention study, have definitively shown that lifestyle can modify the development of type 2 diabetes. But if you look at those studies closely, what you begin to see is that even many of those individuals who are compliant with lifestyle, who work at it and actually lose weight, still go on to develop diabetes. There's something more than just a medical issue here. Given the enormous rise in type 2 diabetes in the US and globally over the last 25 years, there's something beyond behavior that's feeding into this. The Institute of Medicine did a definitive analysis of the social determinants of obesity. What we've tried to do is focus specifically on the issue of diabetes. To begin to put diabetes into a public health parameter, if in fact people do change their lifestyle and still go on to diabetes, what is it about the environment that we might be able to manipulate in order to decrease the epidemic in the development of diabetes. I liken this to the situation with infectious disease, dysentery. Antibiotics work beautifully to treat dysentery. We prevent dysentery by making sure the water supply is clean and our sewage systems work. We want to turn diabetes into a public health management issue. And how are you gonna do that? That remains to be seen. We have a lot of association information now. We don't have good, good trials of interventions that show change. What we're really hoping for is that this position statement, this scientific statement, really gives the opportunity to come up with innovative ideas that can actually be tested in the field to reduce the risk of obesity and diabetes in communities. So we're hopeful that we'll be able to have a request for applications and actually fund some of these projects.